Hey guys, Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com and in this lesson we're going to take a look at the intro solo and the interlude of Fade to Black. Now this is pretty much on a neck pickup here and uh, this is over this first part, this is going to be the intro solo which I just played and that's over the little intro acoustic guitar part we looked at earlier. Alright, so here we go. This first phrase is just like this. Now we're going to be sliding into the ninth fret on the D string over 7 on the G to 7 on the B back to the, the ninth fret on the D string alright then we have this next phrase so that's basically just pick the 7th fret on the B string followed by the 8th fret and slide it up to 10 then play 8, 10, 12 Back to 10, back to 8, and slide up to 10. Alright, the next line is this. So that is a pull, you put your uh, first ring at the 8th fret, 2nd fret on the 10th fret and uh, pinky on the 12th fret there on the B string and do a quick pull off then slide down to the 7th fret hammer back on to the 8th fret and pull back off to the 7th come over the 9th fret on the G string and back to the 7th on the B Then you pick 7th fret again and do a quick hammer on on the 8th fret. Then pick the 7th fret again. Then the 9th uh, on the G. Back to the 7th on the B. And then we're going to end it with 9-7 on the G. And then 7-9 on the D. Alright, the next phrase is this. All right, so we have sliding from seven down to six on the G string. Then you do it again, but this time do a pull off. So you 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 pull off from seven to six. Then pay eight and seven on the B string. Then pick eight again and slide into the tenth fret. All right, the next lick, we're way up here, the 14th position. All right, so that is uh, obviously the, probably the most difficult part of this intro solo. Uh, we're going to start here at the 15th fret on, with your second finger on the B string to the 14th fret on the high E string. Now we got a big stretch up here. We're going to stretch all the way up to the 19th fret on the high E. Now how you pick this is going to make it you can make it a lot easier on yourself if you pick it the right way. So we're going to be a downstroke, upstroke, then you're going to pick the 19th fret on that high E string with a downstroke, then come back to this 14th fret on the high E with an upstroke, then another upstroke on the 15th fret on the B, then a downstroke with the 16th fret on the G. So we got all right, then we're going to come to the 15th fret here on the high E string with a, a downstroke again. So we're coming from a downstroke on the G string over to the downstroke on the uh, high E. You're going to pick a downstroke there, then, and then we're going to do that again, the up, up, down. So it's up on the 14th fret, 
over to up on the uh, 15th fret on the B string to down on the 14th fret on the G. And when you hit that G string, which is a, this is an A note you're actually playing, you're bend it up to a B. Whole step, just pull it down to the floor, and then relax. Then do a quick pick it again and hammer on to the 16th fret, then over to the 14th fret on the D. I'm sorry, I missed a part in there. After actually you do the that little part, before you do the, the bend, we have a little line, which is 16, I'm sorry, 17, 15, 14 on the B string, 16 on the G. Then you make it down to that 14th fret of the, and on the G and you do the bend. Bend and release. Then that hammer on to the and then the 14th fret on the on the uh, D string. So that next phrase there, hammer from 14 to 16 on the D. Then pick 14, 16 on the G. Then 14, 15 on the B. Then a quick hammer pull from 14, 15. Over to the 16th fret on the G. Then 14, 15, 14 on the B. Then just play 19, 17, 15 on the high E. Next phrase is this. So we have this, 15, 17 on the high E. Then you're gonna play that little triad here, it's a little B minor triad. 14 on the high E, 15 on the B, 16 on the G string. Then we're gonna do the same kind of thing, but this time it's gonna be 15, uh, 14, 15, 14 on the high E. Then 15 on the B, and 14 on the G. It's a little B major arpeggio. Then do the 14, 15, 14 again on the high E. Come down to the 15th fret on the B string. Then 17, 15, 14. And we're gonna end the solo with this little line. So that's sliding into the 12th fret on the fifth string, then playing 14, 15. Then play 12, 14, 15 on the D string as well. 12, 14 on the G. Then 12, 13, 15 on the B. And 12, 13, 15 on the high E as well. And then do a quick hammer on pull off from 13 to 15 on the high E string, play the 15 on the B, and then play 17 on the high E. And that's it for the intro solo. Now, a little bit later in the song, we have an interlude, which is also on the neck pickup, and it's a harmonized part, where we're just gonna do the top line here, and it basically sounds like this. So that's the 10th fret on the B string. Then pick 10, 12, 13. Slide into the 15. Play 13, 12, over to 12 on the G. Then you pick the, the 12th fret on the G again, slide up to 14, and then down to 9. Then pick that, slide up to 11, pick it again, slide up to 12, and then 14.
right, from there we pick the 14 on the G again to 12 on the B, 13 on the B. Then we go into a series of whole set bends at the 15th fret on the B string. Actually, do a quick bend and release there. Then play the 13th fret on the B. And then you do those bends. All the 15th fret on the B. And just release it and just let it ring. Alright? In the next lesson, we're going to take a look at the outro solo, which is going to be by far the... Uh, um, the most difficult part of the song. All right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.